Pressure reducing valves are usually used in systems where the water pressure is over 80 psi. And a pressure reducing valve simply means that it maintains an output pressure that is less than the supply pressure. This one inch Zern valve has a minimum inlet PSI of 80. There's also a maximum pressure of 400 PSI and maximum working temperature of 140 degrees. It has a single union connection and it's lead free. These arrows show you which way to install the product. You just connect your feed side here and the water will flow through with the reduced pressure as it reacts with a diaphragm and pressured spring inside of here to reach your desired PSI. Most pressure reducing valves has a factory preset of 50 PSI and an adjustment range of 15 to 75 pounds and others have a, an adjustment range of 10 to 50 pounds. So once you buy it or before you buy it, make sure you know what you're getting. To change the PSI output range, you'll need a wrench. All you do is move it clockwise to raise the pressure or counterclockwise to reduce the pressure. This cartridge style reducing valve from Taco is used in hydronic and radiant heating systems to feed water to the system when pressure drops below a certain level. It's called the pressure reducing valve, but it works in a different way. So to change the pressure range on this product, you loosen this top part and then this knob changes right here. And you can see the, the range changing. There's also a fast fill button to increase flow to the system manually right here. You simply press the fast fill button on top of the valve and when the set pressure is reached, the valve pops out of fast fill mode and returns to its original operating mode. This has a max inlet pressure of 250 PSI and a maximum temperature of 210 degrees. It has a female threaded connection. The adjustment range is 10 to 50 PSI and it comes with a factory preset of 12 PSI. And you're going to install this on your cold water supply line before the water boiler. And of course, you can purchase this to fit all sizes of your pipe. If there's anything further you'd like to know about reducing valves, let me know in the comments section. If not, remember to like the video and subscribe.